What's up, I'm Triple Shoot. Welcome back to another video. In yesterday's video, I showed you how to install the multiplayer mod and mods in general for Lethal Company, but we did it manually. How do we do this using a mod manager? Well, it's actually super simple. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Thunderstorm. This will take you across to their webpage that'll most likely be themed around Risk of Rain 2, as that's where this project originally started. But Lethal Company, as well as a few other games, are supported. When you go to any page, you'll see Get the Thunderstore app. Simply click Get App over here, followed by Download over here. Just a quick note, you are downloading Overwolf, which can be considered a bit of an annoying piece of software. I personally like to avoid Overwolf as much as possible and only really install the apps that I want to interact with. So, we'll open up the installer and you'll see Welcome to Thunderstore Mod Manager. Choose your language and click Next. Then you can leave everything where they are, except next. You'll get an ad for other apps. Just make sure you don't tick this unless you want them for some reason. Next. And now it'll download Overwolf as well as the Thunderstore Mod Manager. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way that you can download this without Overwolf, so you're kind of forced to install it. But for the most part, I'll never be opening it unless we're absolutely necessary. Okay, now we can launch and it'll fire up the Thunderstore Mod Manager. You'll see two apps are installed, Overwolf and the Thunderstore Mod Manager. I personally only use the Thunderstore Mod Manager and almost never Overwolf as it likes to draw over other apps, games, and it can be annoying sometimes. One thing that you'll notice is that you'll have ads on the far right, which you can ask to remove. And when you do, it'll prompt you to subscribe to the Thunderstore Mod Manager for $4 a month. If you'd like to do so, here is where you can do it. All right, now we need to search for a game here. So I'll search for Illethal and you'll find it. Simply click select game and you can also set it as default. If this is the only game you'll be using him, it'll start up to the screen automatically or you can go back here. Now we can click select profile for the default one, but you can choose multiple profiles. In the top right, you can switch between vanilla and modded simply by choosing to play either. On the get mods tab, you'll find everything we need here. But if you've already installed mods, you shouldn't really need to worry about it. Simply just install a Bepin X from the pin mods over here on the get mods tab. So click it, followed by download and leave it as the latest download with dependencies. Once it's done, you'll see it appears on the My Mods tab over here. Now let's get to installing some other mods. There are quite a few that I like to do. First of all, additional suits, always here active walkies, better more, bigger lobby, FPS spectate, lethal fashion, lethal rebinding by Bobby. This one just has more downloads. Let me lock down more blood and more emotes. Once again, multiple mods by Sligely. That's it. We're pretty much done installing most of the things that I usually install. You can, of course, filter categories to select something you want here, allow NSFW, etc. What you can also do is sort over here by last updated or preferably download count or rating. Let's say instead of installing something from the app over here, you instead get sent a link to the website. What do you need to do? Well, simply click install with mod manager, then open Thunderstore mod manager. And shortly after, you'll see that this window opens here and the mod is downloaded and installed. That's it. At this point, you can click to play vanilla or click to play modded. If I choose vanilla and online, you'll see in the bottom left that it simply just says the version number. So there you go, version 40. But if we quit and instead launch modded, this time you'll see a console and shortly after the main menu online. And now we're in the modded version. It's that simple. Now, before we go off, there's a few last things. On the settings menu over here, you can get to the game folder very easily, as well as where your mods are stored as it's a different location. Clear the cache, disable or enable all mods, export the profile as a file so it can be imported and shared with others very easily. If we do this here and select my desktop, we simply get a file that looks like this, ending in R2Z. To import this file, simply head to the very top and click change profile, then import slash update, import new profile, or you can update an existing one. I'll choose from file. I'll select the file and you can see that we need to give it a different name. So ASDF, whatever, create. There we go. Here's our other profile so I can select it and select profile. Then you can see we have all our mods here and we can play it modded as simply as that. You can also share it with code instead if you'd like to copy and paste it over something like Discord. This code will 
will simply be copied. All you need to do is once again, head to change profile, import slash update from code, paste it in, and now you can import it just like that. Super simple. Finally, on the edit config tab here, you can customize different mods that have customizable settings. For example, bigger lobby, we can edit config and we can change the loudness of players. We can go to more remotes, edit config, change the key. LC API, I don't think there's much here. Yeah, not much, more blood, etc., etc. You can customize mods as long as the mod author has included a config file that you can customize. You'll also see over here that configuration files are generated after launching the game. That's why we launch the game at least once with all of our mods installed. But if you haven't done so, you can start it and you should see configuration files here that you didn't see previously. That's really it. Now you can play and enjoy Lethal Company with as many or as few mods as you want. When up updates appear, it should be very easy to update, and on the settings tab, scrolling all the way to the bottom, you'll find a quick update all mods button here. Sweet. Say you want to get rid of the software, you'll need to uninstall it. From the control panel, uninstall, and you'll find both Overwolf and Thunderstore Mod Manager. You'll need to uninstall both of these for both of these apps to vanish. From the settings window, head across to apps, installed apps, and in here you can search for both Overwolf and the Thunderstore app. Anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. And quickly, a special thank you to KZ, my first ultimate supporter.